muchachos, welcome here. For today's video, I have my kids with me. What's your name? Ivy. Who's this? Ivy, Elizabeth. And who's this? Colin. Good job. We have all come together. Actually, we haven't. This is pretty much me in this video, but all the kiddos are hanging out with me. I thought for today's video, I would bring you guys some healthy habits for the home. I'm always getting requests to do more healthy habits videos, and for this one, Whoa. I like to keep my home as a place that's very clean and very minimal and very organized so I can be very productive in the house and to heal in my house. And I have my kids here because my kids are a huge part of the house and how we do things and how we function. A truck! No, that's a train. A truck goes vroom, vroom. Yes. If you guys want to see any of my other Healthy Habits videos, I will have my playlist linked down below. I have Healthy Habits just in general. I have another home specific Healthy Habits video. This video is sponsored by EnviroCleanse and I will be showing you guys their mobile air system. It removes odors and toxic chemicals, particles from the air to make the air in our space clean and safe to breathe, especially with little ones and especially with allergy season upon us. I'm excited to show you guys how that works. Their website as well as a coupon code for you guys is linked down below in the description. Oh, oh, hi Calvin, hey Calvin. In the description box. So if you guys wanna go check it out and make the air in your space clean and good and healthy to breathe in, link is down below, be sure to check it out. Thank you EnviroCleanse for sponsoring today's video. These kids are crazy and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I love having one or two cleaning products in my house and a variety of cloths. It's easier for storage and it's easier just to keep track and keep everything sorted. My first type of cloth I love to use is a cotton cloth. I find that it's very absorbent, great for wiping down surfaces and doing the floors as well. Next is my favorite, which is a microfiber cloth. People are amazed in my cleaning videos when I use one product on everything and different cloths, but they're just like, how do you use the same product on your floors as you do the windows? And I'm like, it's a microfiber cloth. Also love having coarse microfiber cloths. These are great for mirrors that maybe have some like toothpaste on them. Just kind of tackles that grit a little bit better and is so useful. So this is something I do weekly. I started doing this around the same time that my daughter Elizabeth was kind of in and out of the hospital getting sick. My kids also had RSV at this point and I was looking up some articles about how I can help them get better and also reduce the chance of them getting sick in the future. And one of the main things that all these articles and doctors were telling me were to wipe down frequently touched surfaces. They said you can use just a regular cleaner, you can go once step further and use a disinfectant wipe. A lot of them said Lysol is a great choice but I don't really like Lysol because I know that it has a lot of fragrance in it that isn't very good for you. I like natural wipes but just wiping things down that you touch frequently, knobs, handles, light switches, phones, reduces bacterial and virus buildup on those areas. So there's two types of people. There's people that go to HomeSense and they buy all the cute little knickknacks they see and then they cover their walls and work places and stations with it. And then there's people that realize that there's just one knickknack that they know and love and they're just going to keep that one on their space. And I find that having less clutter is better, especially when it comes to your workspace, when it comes to your space overall. It's easier to clean, you're more productive, and it looks so much nicer to the eye as well. So I like to keep my decor pretty darn minimal for productivity and cleanliness sake. So the next thing I want to talk about is my air purifier from EnviroCleanse. I've been keeping this on 24-7 in my home since I got it because I've really truly noticed it has made the smell and the air in my home so much more clean and fresh. The EnviroCleanse air cartridge absorbs chemicals in the air and the filter works to capture particles. So on average, the air will be exchanged in my home about four times an hour on its highest setting. Super efficient, gives me and my family clean air to enjoy. The EnviroCleanse will also absorb dust, pollen, smoke, mites, fragrance, and spores. So this has been working great for my husband also, who really struggles with allergies yearly, and he doesn't snore anymore at night. So I hug. 
my EnviroBlends on a daily basis because it has helped me a lot. This is super safe for kids to touch and to be around and I highly recommend you guys check out the description box for more info. This kind of bridges over to my first tip that I had. It is simplifying under the sink. I have a garbage bin, I have a storage bin, which also houses a couple things that I need for just garbage and also the dishwasher. I have my cleaning bucket, and I just have one cleaning bucket and everything I need is in there, as well as a handy jar because you never know when you could use it. I like to keep this clean probably every couple of days. It also keeps the smell down. I say this all the time, but having a clean, organized, minimal space will also increase productivity and, of course, my plastic bag storage so I can reuse any plastic bags that come my way. There's nothing more welcoming in a house than a clean, tidy front entrance, but this particular day the kids were out and about with me and it was nap time and they ran to their rooms into their beds and I said, don't worry, just throw your stuff on the ground and I will take care of it. But I highly recommend to keep a clean front entrance. This storage organizer is from Ikea and it has almost saved my life. I also like to have my kids pitch in on this as well. But having a tidy front entrance really does a lot for my home. Just like all of these habits, it's another simple one and it's turning off the heat when you're not in need of it. It's turning off the lights when you leave a room. It's shutting everything down before you go to bed. This is gonna save you money for your energy bills and it's also just better for the environment overall. I always turn things off. I think having a healthy home is more than just wiping down surfaces. It's more than just keeping things clean, but it's kind of creating an environment of peace and relaxation when you can do so. Sometimes I know it's hard to do with kids and it's completely understandable, but for me, I like to create certain points in my day that are really relaxed and calm. It can be through music most of the time, and specifically instrumental music, even before I put my kids down for an today I put on a little bit of instrumental music I cannot honestly it looks like I can <laughs> I can hardly play the piano I am definitely learning and I definitely enjoy it but I'm not very good at it at all um, it's my husband who's really gifted at doing this but one day I do want to play quite well so until I can play super well I rely on Google Play to play me some good tunes Studies have shown that people who play instrumental music for at least an hour a day have decreased anxiety and depression and overall have a happier home to come home to. This is my last uh, healthy habit and it's detail vacuuming. I know we all vacuum our house and our floors every single day, but I find that we forget the corners and the baseboards and the windowsills and these places can really hold bugs and dust and hair and it's important to tackle these spots. So I use my Dyson. It's pretty much uh, a miracle weapon tool <laughs> that I use on a daily basis. I want to clean when I have my Dyson. Uh, so I have different heads and I just go through the house and I am vacuuming and wiping things down and detailing things. I like to do this weekly because I find that it takes about a week for dust and things to settle in. And I can honestly clean the entire house and if I have a detailed vacuum, it just doesn't feel the same. So I like to put this into my routine weekly. Thank you all for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you have any healthy home habits that you have really implemented into your home or into your space that helps you in a particular way. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Everyone say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.